and we caught up with him again today in Santa Clara. Javon Kinlaw came back this week. Um, I want to talk about the play on the goal line, man. You <laughs> took up both guys, got the combo block, yeah. and that freed up Fred to make the tackle on the ball carrier. That's the kind of play that you bring to the table. Tell us about that play. I mean, it's a goal line, short yardage type of situation, so you know it's going to be mano y mano. Like, there ain't nothing else going on. They come that true, you got to go at them. So, like, you know, you, first, you just got to be the first person to make contact, and you're good yeah. every time. It don't matter. If you make the first blow, man, good. One people, two people, three, don't matter. Well, I mean, some in some cases, but I mean, you know, you, when I got the structure I got, you know, I can, I can do things like yeah. that. So. You can take up to guys. Yeah. How's the knee? That's good, man. Yeah. You feel good? Yeah, very, very strong right now. Uh, and, and just trying to keep on building my strength up. Yeah. And what do you do for that? You do rehab during the day? Nah. I just lift, <laughs> just lift a lot of weights. Yep, a lot of single leg stuff, man. A lot of stuff. Um, man, if you have a, a big month, this team could win the Super Bowl. I mean, we're gonna win regardless. <laughs> you think so? I know so. Man. Okay. But don't you feel like, don't, don't you think I'm right though? If, if you have a huge week, a huge month, this team's gonna kick butt. I mean, you can't take away, you can't take away the, the credit of what has already been accomplished. Uh, yeah, that's true. When I was when I'm here, not you know we've been they've been doing their thing, you know. And yeah. sure, I'm just happy to be a part of it. You know? I'm just happy to finally be a part of something. You know that? Like, so. Totally. Hey, what do you think of your locker mate here, Kevin Givens, T. Y. McGill? These, these guys are. Yeah, you guys got a saying, bunch of tackles like, balling right now. Bro, everybody, I think I said this like, maybe like last week, but I think bro, everybody, whether it's from top to bottom, can go somewhere and start somewhere else. Like, that's just a group of talent that Kasarik has put together here. So, like like he says, he doesn't really think about the group as backups or starters. Like, you know, right. like, everybody can start at all times. So, But they've been doing a hell of a job. Um, so I'm just glad that I can kind of watch and learn from those guys because it's like I'm still younger than the, the, the both of them. So like, yeah. That's true. Yeah, right. That's true. I didn't think about that. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Uh, Armstead is back. He's playing well, man. He's he always well. does. Yeah. Uh, I mean, is he, is he pretty much the leader in that room? Oh, yeah. Yeah. For sure. The brains, you know, everything else. Um, he's always the guy, like, kind of trying to let everybody else know, like, kind of, hey, look for this tip, look for this key. Like, if you see this, this is going on. If you see that, you know, so. What do the Raiders look like to you on film? I mean, they look like they're going to try to run the ball, just yeah. like last week. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a probably 30, 35, 35 clip run. You know, they're going to probably run the ball maybe 35 times. So, shit, I'm looking forward to that. Leverage is your game, man. If you play low, there's no, you can't be beat. Yep. How do you? How how much of a challenge is that for you to play low? It's got to be on your mind. Like, yeah. if it's not on my mind, you will know. But like, if it's on my mind, you will know. You know, that kind of thing. Um, so I always got to think about pad level. You know, what I, I mean, it just takes time to kind of build up that callus of knowing, like, all right, I got to play low. Like, if not, then you know, shit, it's not going to look good, you know. Yeah. So when I go to practice, I just think about pad level all the time. I used to, like, write pad level down on my tape. Like, I really? used to, yeah, my coach used to tell me, like, do, like, get something, like, so you can see it all the time, so you can know it's always on your mind. Like, so I think I might start doing it again, though. You know, I've been out so long. Why not? So. Yeah. Um, you guys, your linebackers has crazy speed and production, and if you absorb blockers, if your D-line absorbs blockers, these guys can just run for days and make plays. That's got to feel good, knowing that if you just take on guys, man, there are guys behind you that are going to come up and make big hits. Oh, yeah, every time. Just, you know, just do your job. That's it. Yeah. You know, the 10 other guys, they're going to do their job just as well, you know. Yeah. So it's always a blessing. Definitely a blessing to have those guys back there, you know, and even the secondary, you know, I feel like our secondary is one of the more physical secondaries. Um, so, yeah. This team feels like it's on a big time roll and like going to keep it rolling. I mean, give me your feeling of, of the momentum that this team has right now. Um, I mean, I Do you feel I it? I don't, know how to I don't know how to explain it, though. Like, I can't explain it. It's just a feeling you can't really explain, you know. Something I'm used to, like I never, like during my whole career playing football, like I never like, like been a part of anything like this. So right. I can't really explain, you know, like it's just a, surreal for me. 
you know, to be able to come in and be able to feed off of everything that's going on, you know, it's just crazy right now. So, yeah. How good does it just feel to be like part of this locker room and getting in the games and stuff now? You know, we go around and talk to everybody. Everybody has been super nice to us. Everybody seems like they're like humble, but confident. And it just seems like a great room overall to be around. Tabor Pepper said, you know, nothing, this is not locker rooms like nothing he's ever experienced before. So, like, how good does it feel to just be really a big part of that again? It's a blessing, man. It's a, it's a blessing. Speaking from just my, my experiences and everything that I've been through, um, it's, it's just a blessing. Shit, I wasn't even supposed to make it this far anyway. So, to be able to be a part of an environment like this, um, it's just a blessing, man. It's a real blessing. Um, I, I see they really did a good job with picking who they want around here. You know, I'm just glad that they felt about me enough to feel like I could fit in around these guys, you know, so. Yeah, last one. Um, Coach Eric, when I watch him coach, he does in the, the field. I mean, it's high energy, man. It's I mean, like that all the time. He does meetings, like. Is it meetings like that? Yeah, all the time. Really? Yeah. Um, where does he get that energy? Some people got it, some people don't. Yeah. He's the same way every day. Like, does, he, does he motivate you guys? To all play? the time. And does he especially? He? Hell yeah. Like, every day, you know it's going to be, you're going to have a fire lit under you every day. Yeah. From the first day of fucking OTAs to right now, he's never changed. Like, never. Like, like never. Like, for real, for real. Like, yeah. never. Yeah. So, he's, yeah. he's the driving force. Oh, yeah. Hey, man. Happy holidays. Yes, sir, Good yeah, yeah. It's good to see you back, yes, man. Appreciate you. Good luck. There you go. Javon Kinlaw. And um, Javon, Javon has great respect for Eric Armstead. Um, he's really feels, I mean, he's a first round pick, but he really feels fortunate to be like where he's at. Um, and, you know, I really think that he doesn't even know how good and how dominant he can be. In oh. a lot of ways, he's the missing piece for this team. He can take on a combo block of NFL linemen and absorb those bodies and allow Fred Warner and Dre Greenlaw to run free. And, you know, he knows it. Um, everybody knows it. The Niners know it. And they're a lot better defensive front, a lot stouter front against the inside run and they're a lot better defense to the sideline route to the sideline run because when he's absorbing bodies greenlaw can run free greenlaw runs in the four fives when he's absorbing bodies warner runs free he's running in the four fives 